Hello everybody, John here and today on to the garage we've just got a quick one on my tips for cleaning car carpet and car mats. Let's kick straight off and say that the very best thing for cleaning car carpets and car mats is actually a carpet cleaner as in the machine. So um, we have a Vax machine that we use in the house and if you've got one of those things Basically, it pumps water with a small amount of carpet detergent, detergent into the pile of your carpet and sucks it straight back up again. So basically, you're getting a washing action, a detergent action, and drawing the fluid back out takes away a lot of the dirt. And they're brilliant. So if you've got one of those, that's it. Go for using a carpet cleaning machine. If not, carpet like this, First of all, start with hoovering. You want to take off anything that's loose. So dust it, brush it, shake it if it's loose, or it, as a minimum, hoover it out, vacuum it out um, to get everything from the pile. Once you've done that, if you've got heavy staining, then any of the sorts of um, foaming fabric cleaners can be used to do sort of spot improvements and, and get rid of the worst. And they can be pretty effective, and they have this side benefit of usually making your car smell quite nice. But my tip top tip and the reason for making this video, I started um, cleaning these mats and I thought, oh, I bet people don't know this, is I use a little scrubbing brush that looks like that. It's one that's got a little reservoir on the top that you can put uh, dish soap or anything like that in. And you, and you press the button and it dispenses a small amount into the bristles of the brush. Great things, I keep one by my sink in the garage for cleaning my hands up. And occasionally I'll use it for cleaning like um, trim panels and things where I've taken off the car that are really grubby. Just a, a nice size scrubbing brush. And you, so you can put detergent in here. My tippity top tip that is really useful for carpet cleaning is if you don't have a carpet cleaning machine, but you can get yourself one of these, then what you can do is just buy some carpet cleaning solution. Now, we don't have to buy this because we've got it around the house. There's a clue. <laughs> um, as is Vax brand, but it comes in all sorts of different brands. So the stuff that you'd use for carpet cleaning machines. And I put a little bit in this brush. Let's see, I put probably a fifth of the container, like that. And then I'm gonna to top that up with clean water, preferably warm. I don't have warm water in the garage, so it's gonna to have to be cold. There you go. I'll put a, a link in the description below this video to, if not this, then something very similar. So that you guys can grab yourself a little brush if you don't have something like this. They're not expensive things. And there we go. And I've got a scrubbing brush that's loaded with carpet cleaner. And I've already taken most of the stainage off this carpet. It's not really gonna make a huge impression, but agitate the carpet using a brush. Give it a little dose now and again. Keep wetting the bristles. And if you do have stains on your carpet, this will do a very effective job of reducing them. And once you've worked it well in, uh, another advantage, arguably, of this is it doesn't foam up, so it doesn't make a, a real mess. You can do localised cleaning very well with it. Is Once you've got that sorted, and I just had a mark there, but I couldn't get off with the aerosol foam. It's more or less gone there. Then put that to one side. Get yourself a dry cloth or a bit of terry towel in. 
and give this a good rub. This is where the carpet cleaning machine has the edge because it's just going to lift the moisture straight back out. But as you can see, it's taking off some of the muck there. That's quite a good view. <clears throat> I haven't got this very, very wet, but if I had, you'd want to dry it out properly or use a hairdryer on it just to uh, get it going. As soon as the carpet warms up, it loses the moisture very quickly. Now one of the things that's offered by professional car cleaning outfits and by dealers is protect your carpets, invisible shield, scotch guard, um, all those sorts of phrases and brand names get banded around. And of course you can't do that at home, but you can, <laughs> it's simple. And again, usually you've got something knocking around. I've got this. Um, not showing you it because I say it's the best brand or anything like that. It is literally what we've got. So this is Shoe Care Water Protector. Um, but it's the same as all the other types of protectors. What it does is basically puts a non-stick uh, hydrophobic coating onto materials. And this suede shoe protector, it'll do a brilliant job of stopping your carpets getting dirty or at least stopping the dirt sticking in future. Uh, it says on the back, test for colour fastness on an unconspicuous area, hold 30 centimetres from a colour fast surface and spray evenly until damp. Do not saturate. Um, maybe worn immediately but for maximum protection dry naturally for 30 minutes. There we go. Um, and I've got uh, a couple of flat caps, for instance, that I've sprayed with this, and it has effectively made them waterproof. They just bead off water. So for this, it's a brilliant tool, and I've got it so it's not costing me anything, and I can protect this carpet from all the dirt and grime and water that's gonna get on it over the winter. Also smells nice. So there you have it, a couple of quick tips for tidying up your carpets or mats in your car. Don't have to spend a fortune. If they're really, really bad, consider taking them outside on a warm day and jet washing them. And obviously you're gonna to have to let them dry thoroughly, but that will eliminate an awful lot of rubbish from a car mat. Um, but top of the list, if you've got a carpet cleaner at home, use that. If you've not, get one of those and buy some carpet cleaner. Bit of um, water repellent spray, and you're doing as good a job as most valet companies can. See you soon. Bye.